Can you guys explain how thermal hubs work? He said, I've had trouble predicting wind and thermals. That's a term like that's a term we probably use loosely and may people may not know exactly what it means. Do you want me to explain? So yeah. thermal hub thermal hub is an area where um several points come around in kind of a semicircle and surround a low area. And the bucks can bed up on the, the points all the way around. And they can pretty much get in there in any wind because they can get they can move very short distances and cover it. And you can't really get at them because of the thermals and the winds around them. And it's and it's like the perfect storm for a deer to bed there because the winds just swirl in there and it's hard to get in there. And uh, um, if the guy's saying he's having problems with uh, the thermals down there in the winds, well, yeah, of course that's why the deer's there. So the way that uh, I tackle them um, is to there's two ways. The most common way is to, to find where the deer comes out of that thermal hub and get as close as you can as possible and where he exits, you hunt him. The other way is to get in that bottom when you have the wind blowing right down the valley out the only low end, whichever way the, uh, the draws go out. It has to be a direct straight wind and it has to be a good wind so that it doesn't swirl and you still can't get up in the middle of it because the other valleys will cause the swirling. You still have to get to the bottom of it. Um, but it's a rare wind. You have to have blowing right on that bottom. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, you hunt a lot of that and you're in hill country where you live. Yeah. I mean, some people like to, will tell you like the, um, you know, if you have a wind, like you say, you have ridges that are running north to south and the thermal hub is, you know, down on the bottom. And you, you hunt that on a north wind, but man, even then it can be, it can be tough. If you have even just the slightest, um, you know, breeze change or anything, you're going to, it's going to, you know, switch around on you and whatnot. Um, I, but I'll, I'll like push the envelope sometimes and, and, and go into a hub and, and hunt it down. Like if there's a hub scrape or something like that down there. Uh, but again, like, I go, I would, I would like, if you're going to do stuff like that, I would definitely go in there and like do some wind scouting. And what I mean by that is, you know, go in there with some milkweed in the summertime or whenever, uh, on a good wind that you think is going to be ideal for your, um, that location and, and look at it. Cause some of them are just almost for back lack of a better word, like almost impossible to hunt like that in them. But yeah, yeah, a lot of times you just have to back up. Like Gary killed his buck in Indiana in a hub this year, but he was like way back in the mouth of it, or yeah, the mouth of it where it it's wider. There's the air can move a little better through it, and not just get in there and do kind of like this in that in that hub, you know, or in those ridges. So yeah, you kind of um, want to worry about the setup in there too, because even if you go down in that mouth, you have to have yeah. enough that your thermal ain't going up that valley to the points. You know what I mean? Or you yep. got to get yep. after the thermal's dropping. You know, it's, yep. Yep. I think you said, uh, you said something on a pot on, on a show a while back. You're like the biggest mistake people make in hill countries. They're not patient enough. And that's mm-hmm. something that's probably like very true. Like I think some people will just go to that hub and just go set up against those ridges real quick, you know? And it's like, ah, oh, like they're, they're going to know you're there. Like, cause at some point in time that night, at, at, that evening or whenever that wind's going to go up there. I mean, in the hill, hill country betting DVD. There's a, mm-hmm. uh, a point where uh, I'm hunting in hill country in Iowa and uh, I see a buck down in the valley. So I move to it and I have this big 10 pointer come in and right as he gets up to me, he wins me and runs off. And I, I say to the camera, you know, I know better than to hunt down in these bottoms, but every, you know, all the sign and stuff is down there. It just pulls me down here and I'll get cocky enough where I believe I can beat them and I have to come down here and get beat and get my tail kicked between my legs. And then I don't do it again for a year. And then I start getting cocky again and I go do it again. <laughs> you know, And it's, yeah. it's pretty much true. I mean, uh, you just, you feel like you got to go down there cause that's where the action is. But if you're not patient and sit back, um, usually bad things happen out of it. Yep. There's a reason they, they, uh, like it down there. Hey everybody. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.